So we're just walking down this trail along the creeks right over here. And uh, Wanagi's out front there, you can see. And we're just walking towards away from where the parking lot is because it gets pretty hammered. Lots of guides come in here and bring their clients. So I figured we'd work our way down this way towards an area that probably gets a lot less pressure because people don't like to walk. <laughs> Wanagi's having a good time though. Look at her go. She blends right in with all this fall colors. So how's it going? So anyways, we got our rod and we got our chest pack on. You can see that? And we got our waders on and then these wading boots. And uh, we're just cruising. Got the sun at my back, so it might be kind of hard to see us. But anyways, we're just walking up the trail when Augie's out front having fun. And we're just kind of watching for fish rising. Um, there'll be more activity here in the afternoon as the water, well, the water doesn't really warm up, but the air will warm up. Then we might get some spinner fall, some little insects landing on the water. There's some, yeah, there's some bugs coming out. You can, I don't know if you can see them on those willows, but they're just dancing up in the air here. Let's go, let's go look and see what it is. But there's a ton of them right here. See them? Can you see the insects dancing? In the air, right? Just past these reeds here. You see them? What is it? Might be a calabatus, a small calabatus. And we're using a parachute at them, so I think we'll be all right. But that means that those insects are starting to come off the bushes right now, which means that they're going to be landing pretty soon and they're going to lay their eggs in the water. So essentially they're getting, uh, they got eggs aboard and then a male and female will meet in the air usually. And uh, the male will do his thing and the female's eggs then will be fertilized and then she lands in the water and swims down and puts them on a rock and then she she floats up and that's it for her and the fish will catch her either landing or swimming down um, or just drifting through the water so that's why we have a nymph off a of dry so they'll look at the dry thinking it's a female landing on the water and they might take that or they might take the nymph i tied on and uh, think that that's a uh, uh, a merger one going down to lay the eggs well a merger is usually a bug coming up from the bottom but same kind of thing Anyways, cool. Well, we can get to fishing here shortly, so we're just walking up this river. You can see it's on our left side. Just beautiful Spring Creek. Water's clear as gin, as they say. And uh, I don't drink gin, but I used to, but not anymore. It makes me crazy. So, anyways, that's it. We'll get fishing here and turn it on in a little bit. Over there swimming, you can see the splashing. Look, see the splashing? <laughs> there she goes, soaking wet. Look, she's having a good time. That's great. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. She's having a good time. Look, where are you going? So we're fishing. Wanagi's swimming. We just narrowly avoided a a male moose in rut with a female with a one-year-old probably a one-year-old and that is a dangerous thing but because of wanagi i think they took off running they didn't want anything to do with us <laughs> are you having fun buddy <clears throat> So we got a trout feeding straight up ahead of us. I don't know if you can see my finger, but flies pretty much straight out where my rod tip is. About probably, I don't know, 40 yards off, 40 feet off, not 40 yards. We got a dry and then we got a little dropper, a little nymph. But we're probably not fishing the right flies. There's not much activity going on right now, but uh, that doesn't mean they aren't eat. There were a few coming up to eat here and there, but we're just going to keep trying.
we might walk up a little bit anyways this is beautiful see this is called silver creek look how clear the water is it's amazing here can you see that but it's just beautiful Nagi's having a fun. It's a little cold. It's spring water. I wore long underwear under my waders, but probably not enough. Uh, I could probably use some more, but it'll warm up today, so I don't want to get all sweaty. And we can get out of the water and change if we need to. But here we go. Here's what we're using. Can you see that? There's that little parachute atoms right there by my fingers. And then here see on my finger there it's like a little red little midge kind of emerger thing we're gonna probably switch it up with something fluffier but it's all good hey how's it going good morning it's early uh, well not really it's 7 30 but that's still kind of early but uh, I wanted to share something with you because it's pretty exciting uh, it's one of my favorite places in the world like literally this is it. I used to come here in the early 90s, and I've been coming ever since, uh, whenever I get a chance, and it's just beautiful. But I want to show you something, okay? This is why it's so beautiful. Check this out. Is that just amazing? Look at that. That's the sawtooth right there. How amazing is that? And this is Stanley Lake right here. Absolutely just brilliant. And look at the reflection of the mountain in the water. Is that just it? That's just amazing. And look at Wanagi, she's on the beach here. This is just up in the Sawtooth, up in Stanley, Idaho, basically. Uh, South Central Idaho, basically. And oh, this place is amazing. I've got this in other videos. I've showed this really some of my first videos uh, we were up here camping and backpacking and i just came up here it's fall it's a uh, middle of october and it's chilly it got down to 30s last night so it's pretty chilly but man look at that oh that reflection of the mountains in the water it just it just blows my mind i love that hey wanagi what are you doing okay and then look smoke on the water is that cool? That's so amazing. And look, there's the camper. See that? Look at that. We, we were camped somewhere else. We went to a hot springs last night. It was beautiful. It was amazing. But uh, my friend couldn't sleep. She has a little bit of claustrophobia. And then just being a new place. And, you know, it's only the fourth time we've ever hung out. And kind of a crazy thing to do, go camping. But she's an adventurer, so am I. And uh, look at that. Look at that. It's so beautiful. All right, well, we're gonna throw that drone up right now, I believe, and uh, get some footage, so. Come on. Come now. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Look at her come. Look at her come along the shore. She's got her new harness on. It's Wanagi. Oh, look at that dog. Look at her run along the shore. Oh, how's it going, buddy? Come on, let's go. I gotta throw that harness, or that drone up. We got to throw the drone up for the people. For the peoples. All right.
good morning how's it going so we're a little later in the day we've actually traveled here behind me is the iconic uh, redfish lodge here uh, they got little houses you can rent and things little uh, cabins and things but they serve gourmet meals in there they've got a nice outdoor kind of uh, barbecue hamburger and different snacks for the day they have bands playing here and I'm actually on the beach here at Redfish Lodge in Idaho and this is Redfish Lake right behind me where the sockeye salmon return to that and which turn red in spawning and that's why they call it Redfish Lake this used to be filled with thousands and thousands of those sockeyes returning every year for this peat gravel on the shore and they would build spawning beds and have their their uh, babies in there and this lake goes all the way out that way you can see kind of those peaks behind me way out there and those are the sawtooth mountains and it's actually wilderness so what you can do is you can hike all the way there or what we might do today later this afternoon in a little bit is grab a boat and go all the way to the other side of the shore and we might do a little hike into the wilderness to a uh, waterfall it's just my friend Trish and I and Wanagi and uh, they have boats here that you can rent they also uh, people bring their boats up from catch them and stuff and anchor them off in here um, but it's just an amazing place and we're headed to a place dog beach where we can let Wanagi off lead and we've come here a lot Wanagi and I and uh, she enjoys it and it's a magical place beautiful but just look at this view behind me just amazing so amazing beautiful sawtooth mountains an amazing pristine high mountain lake the water is just crystal clear and just amazing but anyways that's it for us these people having a good one right on yeah yeah they're just killing it enjoying it right on you guys <laughs>